Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be bringing you another shooting drill video. And the name of this drill is called the Four Aces Drill. This drill can be shot with a variety of platforms, uh, from rifle to pistol, or possibly even shotgun. It can even be shot from concealment. And I'm going to show you several of those different configurations today. The drill will be shot on a standard USPSA target like you see behind me. And all rounds will be fired at the main A zone. This is a really good drill and it works a lot of different things. It's also a low round count drill because you only need four rounds to run it. So the way the drill is pretty much designed to work is from a pistol from more of a duty style rig. And what you'll do is on the sound of the shot timer, you will draw and fire two rounds to the center mass A zone. At that point, you will perform a slide lock reload and fire two more rounds to the center mass A zone. Um, you don't necessarily have to do it from slide lock. That's just the way I like to do it to make the drill a little bit more difficult, but that is completely up to you. Part times for this drill are pretty much tailored to a duty style rig, as I mentioned. Um, so you may have to adjust those slightly depending on what you're running this drill with. But the part times are anything under five seconds is considered a pass. Under four seconds is considered intermediate. Um, under three seconds is considered a expert. And anything under two and a half seconds is considered uh, better than an expert. So use your own judgment. Um, I'm going to run this with a variety of different things. As I mentioned, I am going to run it with a carbine first just to show you how that works. And then I am going to run it from a belt rig. And then the last thing I'm going to do is actually run it from concealment. Um, so going back and forth between the belt rig and concealment, I'm actually going to use the same pistol. I'm just going to be running it in a different setup. Since the part times are pretty much tailored to a belt rig, it's going to be interesting to see how I can do on this drill from concealment and with the rifle as well. So we'll just find out together how that works. With all that said, let me move the camera a little bit, get my belt rig on, get my rifle gassed up, give this drill a run. That was a 204. One, two, three, and four. Tape it up, run it one more time. A little bit of a sloppy reload, but I still got it in a 199. One, two, three, and four. Clean runs. All right, now that we've been running this drill with the carbine, we're gonna switch over and run it with the pistol a few times, running it from a belt rig like you see here. Uh, the pistol I'm using is a Glock 19 Gen 5. Um, it's completely stock on the inside. It does have a Holosun 509T on top, which is a enclosed emitter red dot. I really, really like this optic. Has a set of Ameriglow backup sights, and it has a Streamlight TLR1 weapon light. Uh, weapon lights on defensive firearms of any kind is a uh, mandatory in my opinion not really up for debate but other than that this Glock 19 is completely stock I've got the target taped up downrange so we're gonna go ahead and give this drill a run with the pistol two twenty two One, two, three, and four. Let me tape up and I'll run it one more time. That was a 229. One, two, three, and four. Two clean runs. And based off of that group and the group on the last run, um, I think it's fair to say I could go a little bit faster and open that up a little bit. But I wanted to keep it nice and smooth for you guys. And yes, this is a full seven yards. So obviously back there between those cones is where I'm shooting from. So I have now changed out to my everyday carry setup. So I've got a spare magazine in my reload wrap in the pocket. And I have the same Glock 19. I just now have it set up with a TLR7 weapon light, which is a little bit more compact, and I have it here in an appendix holster. 
So this setup, firearm-wise, is what I carry on an everyday basis. So I carry with a flush fit 15 round, and then I carry with a 17 round magazine here in my pocket. So I've already taped the target up, so let's go ahead, give this drill a run from concealment. Two six five. One, two, three, and four. So that's very consistent. That run was a two six two. One, two, three, and four. Two clean runs from concealment. Well, you guys see the footage. Uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with those results. Um, I would have liked my runs from concealment to be a little bit better, but I do a reload from the pocket, and unfortunately, that's never going to be quite as fast as some of the other options. Um, so I am trading off a little bit of performance for comfort in that regard. But as you can see, that's uh, some pretty effective reloads, even from a pocket. Uh, all in all, I really enjoyed this drill. I definitely think I could do much better with it with the rifle. Um, I, that's just my personal standards. Um, I feel like I should be able to get this drill well under two seconds with a rifle, but that's just my opinion. Um, I'm very happy with my performance from the belt rig, and uh, like I said, from concealment, I'm content with that for now. Obviously, all three of these, I'm running it well under the part-time, um, and that's a good thing, guys. If you hit a given part-time, whether it's a part-time that I say is a good one or somebody out there that is far more qualified, once you hit that part-time, don't stop there. Keep pushing, keep training, drive those standards even higher and those part-times even lower. Um, I think that is a big mistake that a lot of shooters have is they just settle for good enough um, and that's just garbage in my opinion. Um, you should be constantly pushing for higher standards of shooting, higher standards of living and just being better people. Another thing I hope I demonstrated in this video is you don't have to have a safe full of pistols to go out and do different types of shooting. Um, as you just saw, I was running my concealed carry gun, and then I took that same gun and was running it on a belt rig just like this. Now, normally, that's not what I would do. I would run something like a Glock 17 or maybe even a Glock 34. I wouldn't run my Glock 19 in a belt rig, but you absolutely can do it, and you can still have some very high standards of shooting. Now, I did swap back and forth between two different weapon lights, this one being a little bit more compact and this one being a little bit bigger. Um, but that's not necessary. The reason that I did that is my two holsters here require two different weapon lights, so I had to. Um, but if you were setting this up, you absolutely could set it up with one style of weapon light, and you could go back and forth with one gun, pretty much do it all. Basically, I've said all that to say this. It's the Indian, not the Arrow. Um, so don't get too wrapped up in the newest, greatest gun. Get wrapped up in training, and get wrapped up in learning how to use it. Um, if you suck, you suck. So going out and buying the newest, most expensive gun that's possibly made and thinking that's going to make you a better shooter, unfortunately, you couldn't be more wrong. I know that's what the internet and the gun community likes to push, that you got to have this gun, and when this gun comes out, you have to have this gun. It's not true. Um, I shoot a lot of Glocks. I've shot Springfields. I've shot CZs. I've shot SIGs. And I've shot a lot of those over the years. And I went all the way around a big circle and then came back and realized it really didn't make a difference. You can get whichever you want. Don't buy a high point, maybe not a Taurus, but get a good, decent quality gun and put in the time, put in the reps, and yes, put in the work because it simply is work to get really good at shooting. Um, I'm by no means an expert. I definitely don't claim to be an expert. Um, I'm just a redneck that's in the woods that shoots way too much. Um, but that is something that I learned years ago. I wasted a lot of time and money chasing after the rainbow of the newest, greatest gun. And I realized that none of that really mattered. Uh, the biggest problem with shooting well wasn't the gun, it was me. All right, so now that I'm done with my rant, uh, let me quickly mention one thing about this drill that I didn't before. Um, to run this drill correctly, it has to be 100% clean. So what I mean by that is there is no makeup shots, there is no time penalty for a miss. If you have anything other than 100% alphas, it's a fail. Doesn't matter if you run this drill blazing fast. If you miss one shot, you officially failed the drill. And I like drills that way. Um, whether it's an A-zone or A-zone head or B-zone or a piece of steel, whatever you're shooting at, I like having those standards that I simply cannot miss or I have essentially failed. 
Um, it really teaches you how to balance speed while maintaining a certain level of accuracy. And it also adds in a little bit of throttle control with yourself because you'll understand how fast you can go on a given target at a given distance. I hope you guys enjoyed this drill. If you go out and run it, please let me know your times. I'd love to hear them. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, I would really appreciate that as well. If you want to contact me directly, that is the best place to do so. As always, thanks for watching. See y'all next time.